few minutes drive south of Philadelphia lies Chester, Pennsylvania and the state-of-the-art facility PPL Park, home of the Union, who welcome New York in tonight for our MLS Game of the Week, presented by Adidas. Lineups here, not, not big changes at all, but when look at the focus there, Marquez dropping back to the centre-back this year with Tim Ream. Tanio sits in behind Di Rosario, very good passer for Union. You see Ruiz on the two, we talked about that, but Justin Mapp comes back in now into this lineup on the right-hand side. Keon Daniel, the Trinidad and Tobago International on the left. Bingley Aranzi, Carroll, they've got a big responsibility. Well, every season is a long journey, isn't it, with some important staging posts along the way. Tonight has the potential to be one of those pivotal moments. Two ties so far, they drew last week against the Houston Dynamo at home, 1-1. To which they launched 22 shots. There's an early shot testing. Condor! What about that from Carlos Ruiz? He spotted Buna Condor some way off his line. And he chanced his arm. Well, you gotta love it here. This is like Stankovic for Inter. And he scored the goal though, Stankovic, and Ruiz coming very close. Condor is given that to Marquez. A problem here, and that Sebastian Latou giving Marquez. Uh, a tricky situation to deal with. No foul. It was the team who was screaming for a decision. Seemed to be an arm in the face there for, for Marquez. Well, I, think, I think Sebastian Latou has a good argument because he actually a high pressure. A yellow card has been given now to Marquez. Number four right there in your screen. Mexican international, which I'm still not sure what for. <laughs> well, here it is under pressure. He squeezes the ball. There's no foul there, but he clipped him just a little bit. Sebastian Latou was looking for the foul. Got the yellow card instead. Yeah, referee Alex Bruce was quite a, bis a distance away. Just in that into the build-up. That's cross is a decent one. Floats through the area untouched. And it's retrieved by Shannon Williams. He wants a handball. He's going to get it, too. Official verdict, by the way, on Brian Carroll. There's a hamstring pull that did him in in the early stages of the game. Now Philly have their first real set piece opportunity of the game. You see here Roy Miller just putting the elbow up and Ian Williams with the overlapping run for the Union. He'll do quite a bit of that tonight. Well, he's going to have his hands full though in matching up. It's going to be a battle throughout the wing play tonight. And how wide on this pitch, very good surface. Now the Union gets to run a play. Adrian here with an opportunity to get on the score sheet. The Suns are band like it. Just in that. Trying to give them something to really cheer about here. Let's put it right into the mixer. Oh, Danny Califf. It's squirmed through to Danny Califf, who scored against Houston on opening day, but he couldn't repeat the trick here. Well, it's a very dangerous ball, and it's whipped in. Miss cleared just right through everybody. Plenty of Union players, but nobody can get a foot on the end of it. And Danny Califf, as it, it just comes across, he's off balance. He sees it late. Rosario. The break is on here for New York. Agudelo. Di Rosario, good numbers here for the Red Bulls. Di Rosario picking up Agadello, who goes for goal and denied by the post. And that was a squirming sort of effort by Juan Agadello. May have taken a little deflection too. Only for Barcelona against Real Madrid on numerous occasions. As Ruiz and Marquez. Yeah. Ruiz takes a spill. Daniel. Jordan Harvey. Harvey's done well. The two was his target. The there first. The I'm not sure what Soli was doing. He seemed like he had a good position on Jordan Harvey, but he almost gave the ball right back to him. It's another yellow card coming out from Alex Bruce for a challenge that happened before Di Rosario getting that yellow card. And it looked like it was a, a challenge on Carlos Ruiz. Ladies and gentlemen, a yellow card. Here's that ball being played from the Marie. Uh, sorry, call it Ruiz, but there's a tackle from Dane Richards. So why? Oh, it was actually given to Dane Richards. Okay. Di Rosario was arguing. 
Yeah, Alex Bruce waited for the uh, sequence of play to end, then went back and booked Richards. And Jamaican international. And the Guatemalan El Pescadito winning the duel again. Well, Sebastian Latou, it's, it's like his touch is a little bit off. Ooh, great, great ball out. Agadello's touch is right on, though. And the finish so nearly there for one Agadello. Well, he hit the post earlier on, now he's hit the crossbar. We'll see from one end to the other. Quick transition play, and the Red Bulls have loads of attacking options going forward. What a great ball by Joel Limpair. He was my MVP from last year at this club. You see Juan Agadello, great first touch. He sets everything up right, brings the keeper out. He just can't keep it down on the frame, hits the woodwork. Wow, just off the crossbar. How do you keep a lid on expectations when it comes to Juan Agadello, John? On to Valdez. Down the line it goes for Latou. Latou has got the better of his man, Roy Miller. Latou! Oh, Condor! Got very, very lucky. We see Sebastian Latou does all the work. He puts the pressure on Roy Miller. And he creates this opportunity. There's Keon Daniel was at the back post. And that's where Sebastian Latou was trying to connect. Condor. Wow, he was very lucky not to put that in his own net. Here it is. He leans, and I'm not sure what he's done there. He's actually paddled the ball back towards his own goal. Finish 1-1. One, one. It's Richards, the other goal scorer that night. On it goes to Soli. Up goes Henri. Falls for Limpair. Low drive, just the wrong side of the post. I see Soli getting forward again, that right back overlapping, producing a good ball in the box. I see Thierry Henri almost looking here to set up for a bicycle. Limpera, I love how he just strikes his first time. Half, half volley, just wide of that near post. 19-year-old Roger Torres coming on. Replacing Carlos Ruiz, who is the Colombian for the Guatemala. Big favorite here, the 19-year-old in his second season. Pretty good first campaign with six assists. Yet to score, though. For Philadelphia. Now would be a good time to start, maybe. At the same time, Luke Rogers is going to come on. Replacing Dane Richards. When you think about players who've uh, played for many seasons in England and scored over 100 goals. We're not only talking about Thierry Henry on the Red Bulls roster. A giveaway here for Mwanga. And it's on! Oh! What a moment for Roger Torres! He's picked the perfect time to score his first Philadelphia goal. Midway through the second half, a horrible mistake by the Red Bulls. Punished by Philadelphia. Well, they've woken up the crowd here at PPL Park. But what a huge mistake by the Red Bulls. Careless in the back. Roger Torres comes on as a sub. He finds himself in a position there, I thought, almost offside. It'll be interesting to see the replay, but again, here's the ball being played. Tim Ream, what a bad giveaway that was to Mwanga. He lays the ball in, he's just onside. Does it come through? Wow, timing is everything. And just show there, he beat the offside trap and a great finish from the substitute. Unreal. The two young guns, the two 19-year-olds combining to exploit the error from Tim Green. Red Bulls would not show up. Well, they've done everything right, but put the ball in the back of the net. Nagadello hit the post and hit the crossbar. It's only three points, but it feels like a whole lot more. Peter Novak pumping his fists in the air in delight. Roger Torres, what a contribution from him with his first touch of the ball. It's a goal he will remember for a long, long time, as will most of the crowd here at PPL Park.